Red Wing RC, and I'm here today to introduce the newest power box we have available. This RCCSKJ power box, distributed by Red Wing RC, builds upon the previous versions of power box that we have offered. This is not a full tutorial on the functionality of this power box, but builds on the videos from the red, green, and yellow power boxes we have to offer. To view the full wiring explanation video on these power boxes, go to the product page and click on the video link there. This new black model has several features that build upon the yellow version. The new features include this LCD display that displays in real time the voltage of both batteries you have hooked up. Also, this unit has an alarm to warn you of low voltage. This alarm is audible as well as a flashing LCD that you would mount to the outside of the plane. This unit also features true battery sharing and balancing, as well as circuit protection to prevent a short circuit battery drain. And it includes a BEC to use for your ignition. To fully fill you in on the detail of functionality of this unit, I'm going to have Tim step in and give you more information. All right, well, first of all, Heather, thank you for doing the introduction on that. Any uh, less camera time I can have, all the better. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is the LCD on this unit, shown right here. Uh, you can see that when I turn this unit on, it's going to display the voltage for both batteries in real time. Uh, you can see here it's alternating between the two batteries. It's going back from unit one and unit two. So it shows unit one, says it's at 6.37, and unit two, 6.37. That's because Right now, I only have one battery hooked up to it. Uh, but that is the LCD indicator. Also, the alarm uh, for the unit is going to be set using this LCD screen. Just to the right of the LCD is a button here that says set. And if you press this once, it will show you the uh, voltage for the battery you have set. Right now, it says off. Um, you can set this anywhere from off to 4 volts to 12 volts. So you can set that, that voltage warning in those ranges, meaning if you set it for 4 volts, uh, when the battery drops below 4 volts, it's going to start beeping and flashing and letting you know. So again, to set this, all I'm going to do is go ahead and press the set button once. and it says off. Um, from there, if I start pressing and holding it, it will change the voltage to the, the voltage that I want as a minimum warning voltage. I'm going to go ahead and set this as 6.5, which is above the current voltage of the battery. And as you can see, it's letting out its audible signal. And if I hook up the LED to the LED alarm location on the box, It also gives you a nice bright signal that you can mount on the outside of your plane. So if you're flying in the sky and you drop a little voltage that, that you want to have that, uh, you'll be able to see that from just about anywhere in the sky. All right, and also mentioned was the battery sharing or battery balancing that this unit offers. And what that does is when you hook up two batteries to this unit, um, it will draw from the higher voltage battery at all times. So it, it'll carefully read each battery and draw from the higher voltage battery, uh, thus ensuring that, that your batteries are drained at a very even rate. Um, with the, the other power boxes that we offer, they are just drawn upon organically. Um, so at the end of your flight, more than likely, they're going to be pretty close in balance. Uh, but with this unit, they're going to be just about spot on because it is selectively balancing and, and sharing the batteries. Another feature that this unit offers that Heather mentioned is uh, the battery circuit protection. And what this does is, in the rare event that one of your batteries should actually short and not just fail, but actually short, um, if they are hooked up to the same, same wire, the same, same system, and, and a battery actually shorts out, then it would cause a draw uh, from your other battery uh, to occur. But in this unit, it has circuitry built in to protect that from happening. So it would, it's kind of cut off from, from the second battery. So if one goes bad, the other one remains and you safely get it down to the ground. 
Um, coincidentally, if you have your alarm set, you would also know of this right away. So um, some extra protection there as well. Also, uh, I wanted to mention on this unit and some of the others as well, um, the, the battery power, whatever you plug into the unit, will be dropped down to 5 volts for your top bus here. The top bus is what will be fed into your receiver. So regardless of what batteries you have hooked up, uh, this unit will, will supply a clean 5 volts to your receiver. Your servos will be supplied a selected power. Uh, you can start with up to 12 volts for this unit uh, or go all the way down to our life batteries, which is a great option. But if you were to hook up, say, a uh, 12 volt LiPo to, or 11.1 volt LiPo to this unit, uh, you can basically use the dial on the left side of the unit and just adjust that with a screwdriver up or down while you have a voltage tester hooked up. And you'll be able to selectively choose your voltage to your servos anywhere from 4.8 to 9 volts. So this would be useful if you're using high voltage servos or you can of course select it down to your standard voltage as well. This unit also includes a BEC or a regulator that you can use to hook up to your ignition between the battery you install uh, and your ignition. Now the way that this, these boards work they do have a separate ignition in port on the board. Uh, so you could hook up a third external battery. However, as you see, uh, you'll see in the other videos that we offer, what we recommend doing is actually taking one of your buses from the top or from the servos on the side here and running it down from here to your ignition in. The reason being is that this will provide you with redundant power for your ignition as well. Whereas, if you use a single battery and, and plug into the bus here, then if that battery goes, goes bad, then your ignition is not providing redundant power. So again, by drawing the, the power from the top bus down to the ignition, if you have one available, uh, that would offer you redundant power. If either of these batteries fail, the top bus is still getting power from one of them. Again, with the servos, the same would happen. Now, in the instance that you, and, and you're more than likely to have an open slot in one of these servo slots, so it's a very convenient power source to be able to run down to there. Um, but what you want to do, if, if you are using a higher voltage for your servos, you'll want to go ahead and use this inline BEC. Uh, go ahead and knock it down uh, to the voltage that you want before you install there. So this, this will be an effective tool in knocking this down to, to an acceptable uh, 6 volts before you plug it into your ignition. As I briefly mentioned before, this unit can be used with batteries uh, that, that range in voltage anywhere from 6 volts to 12.6 volts. So you have a wide range of batteries you can use with this. Our life batteries are an excellent, clean, reliable, safe source to use for your plane. However, you could also use a higher voltage uh, LiPo battery. And remember, the top bus, regardless, will be providing 5 volts to your receiver and your servos with this unit will be selectable anywhere from 4.8 to 9 volts to your servos. Uh, so you have a lot of options on, on what batteries you want to use. This unit would be a great option for any plane that is a very valuable uh, plane to you. And so, you know, a 100cc or 50cc size plane, you could even use it in a 30cc size, though this unit may be a little overkill. Uh, at 6 ounces, it's about 3 ounces more than our other units. Other units weigh in about 3 or a little less. This one weighs in right about 6. So you would pay a little bit of a weight penalty, but not a lot, uh, for using this in a 30cc. But it, it's probably more appropriate in, in our 50cc planes and, and 100cc planes. I hope this gives you a pretty good overview of this unit. And again, remember to go back to the other video for the red, green, and yellow units to, to give you a basic wiring understanding of these units. And uh, please you know, remember to support Red Wing RC so we can continue to put out these videos. If you have ideas for other videos on our products or uh, other videos in general, just let us know. And of course, be exceptional, fly Red Wing RC.